guys, welcome back to the Mazel Reviews. I'm TJ Duncan, and what we have here is Mastermind Creations, their Azalea. So there are two versions here. This is the standard version, which is, of course, their homage to RC. Um, this one is the Asterix mod, or Asterix mode edition, which is a homage to RC, but some different artwork that I think it was like Alex Milne or something like that that it done just with some different color schemes and things like that looks really cool unfortunately this one was a TFCon Chicago exclusive however the regular version you can go ahead and buy right now at tfsource.com so please do if you like what you see but anyways going over the mode exact same thing there are going to be some new releases um, one of the primes and things like that feral queen that have different head sculpts and things like that but this is the base mode for all of them. So, taking a look, you can see the accessories too. Two guns, two swords, which clip into their backs, and the guns holster on their sides, they peg in. They also come with flight stands, and it's pretty cool that each are different color. The blades are both orange. I believe the, um, I don't know if it was pre-production, test shot, running change, but the original one that I believe P.I. reviewed, it had blue swords. I actually like this better, so sometimes they make those changes. It's like, oh man, why do they keep it? But this one I actually dig. Okay. And the handles of the swords, as well as the guns, they're that metallic color, and they are different. One's more pink, one's more blue tinted. So I'm only going to take one of them to take a look at the posability, but really posable. I like that it has the upper chest and ab swivel, so you have a lot of different options in terms of just like that suede hip look, you know, different tilts and things, especially with a feminine robot, you know. All right, and we went over those two. Bicep swivel, shoulders on uh, ball joints as well, double elbow bend, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel, so there is the um, swivel at the thigh above the knee, really good knee bend too, so not double jointed but just good, feet go forward and downwards or up and down and there is definitely good ankle tilt there, so lots of posability in this mode, let's go ahead and just think of something on the fly. Put her in. Go for an Iron Man type deal. And that's my finger. The gun's actually pegging really tight, but messing around, my finger is sliding past them. So I want to be able to do it without jacking with that. Get that up. See what I mean? So that's all me. Okay. A bit convoluted. Can definitely make some changes to it, you know, if I was doing photos or something like that. But the basics are there. You see that it could do it. So definitely quite a bit of posability there, and the head's definitely on a uh, ball joint as well. Okay. So, and it's really cool the way they hold the swords, too. Um, these are a lot easier than, I'd say, like Bovis and Fortis from Feral Rex were. There's no real finagling the weapons or having to put them in at an angle. You pretty much pop them in, pop them into place, and they hold pretty well. Nothing crazy. And even though I'm concentrating on the regular version, the pictorial on kumastyle.com will definitely have pictures of both. So you get to see a lot of detail, cool poses with both of them. But there you go. Pr really cool. What we'll do now, we'll go ahead and get this transformed. The instructions tell you to take these pieces out. two front ends of her car. Apparently you can transform it with, 
I haven't tried that yet, so I don't want to say yeah or nay, but I have read that it's just fine to go ahead and leave them on. All right, so we're just rotating that whole piece. The head rotates right there. Bring this back flap up. The head actually fits in there. Oops. The problem I'm having is that the waist wants to rotate and go as well as the chest. Even though it's awesome for the, the toy itself, less posability would kind of be beneficial to the transformation here. So it's definitely a give and take. But the head just pegs in down there. Okay, you can see it's got a pretty flat base. Just take these flaps over. Now, the waist, it actually expands here. So that pops up. Make sure I'm still good focus there. All right. And so these double jointed elbows, take it up and over. And then it actually tabs into the into the shoulder armor like so. So, just sideways, up and over. Got to make sure it's angled right. Okay, make sure the fists are still facing towards you. Now legs, kind of funny, but not too bad. They just untab. And then see where it slits right there. Rotate that. Rotate that. Now on the back side, it's kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in. Focus. You see a peg here. The hand actually fits onto that peg. So, alright. Do the same for the other side. You just make sure that it's rotated in. That really helps. I had a problem getting the hands to go into the peg. It seemed like it wasn't long enough. But then I saw in the instructions that you have to extend that uh, ab piece there. So that's really crucial that you do that. But that's what you got so far. All right. Make sure those are pointed up. The knees. Let's rotate them. Now, the like this forearm army. You're gonna want that. I'm gonna have to repeg that in. I should have done that beforehand, but hindsight 2020. Just make sure that's pointed out, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, just retab, retab. Now the knees, bring that forward, and this actually tabs into that uh, that forearm arm. arm. All right, so got those tabbed in, and like I said, the feet they just fold over into those tabs on the forearms there. All right, so I flip the hood up, it starts down there. You can just flip it up, not nothing crazy. Foot tab back in. Alright, and once everything's tabbed in, it's really solid. So, for the rest, I'll actually put the flight stand on. It's the same shape as the hole in the crotch plate, so not hard or anything like that to put on. But this makes putting the guns on and stuff like that a lot easier. You just put the handles back on each one then they go on they clip on upside down and you can see a little tab where you slide them in and they uh, clip in so once you find the groove it really just slides in easily it's just doing it at the right angle there you go and you heard that snap there so it's good stuff the swords just fold them over Fold them over, and then they peg into the back of the cab there. Not the biggest slits in the world, so it's 
Sometimes they'll look like they tab in, and then they just don't. Ugh. Then pegging that back in. And now these two pieces, they just peg right in. Let me go in nice and slug. Snug. There are three areas. Um hole, 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 pegs into all three, so locks in good. Alright, and there's that. Alright, I definitely went ahead and um, transformed the asterisk mode so you didn't have to see all that. I don't think the transformation is really hard, but it's just not one that fits me, my hands, etc, etc. No matter how easy a transformation is, they just don't work for everybody all the time unless it's something like a one step or something like that. So nothing's too crazy about it. I'm just not finding that groove with it yet. So maybe over time it'll come. But because I have times where I transform it in it feels like 30 seconds and then there are times that take me five minutes. So I really don't know. But Looking at the side of each, really cool hovercraft mode. I like them a lot. And I love that they come with the flight stand, so that's a nice little touch. One thing that I saw um, people doing at the con, I don't know if it's a fan mode or one of the alt modes that's going to be on, maybe one of the repaints or variants or whatever, but they had the spaceship mode. It was really cool so let me see if I can still do it I better be able to since I'm on camera now but so removing both of these take these tabs put them in this goes in here I believe yeah so that goes in there and then, you just take this, turn it ever so slightly, and it has to be some kind of mode, because there are pieces here you're going to see that are for that. And of course, this became unpegged, which is fantastic. Alright. The knees, you just rotate them out slightly so that they're at an angle like so and then at the knee itself and of course they're being like crazy tight now there we go these actually pull out so yeah and of course that wants to be fiddly see what I mean it's just not not made for my hands. But there you go. And of course it's on both modes and everything like that. Not the most fluid looking version of it. But yeah, really neat that they have like a Star Cruiser mode in there too besides just the hovercraft. But anyway, this is the Mastermind Creations. Azalea, of course, the regular version, which you can buy at tfsource.com right now, and the TFCon exclusive version. So with the TFCon exclusive version, just a note, um, if you have the chance to get one at cost due, I've seen them go as high as $200 already. So glad that I was able to nab mine. Definitely an awesome repaint. The regular version is awesome too. I mean, you can't lose either way. But regardless, this has been another Kumasau review, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to check out the pictorials on tfsource.com slash blog and kumastyle.com. So I'll have reviews of Azalea on there and the asterisk mode on my personal site. See you next time.